What's up, family? This is your local OG motherfucking Juggalo here for your fucking second part of the Fisty Cuffs uh, interview uh, questions and answers session. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't give a fuck. Name it whatever the fuck you want. Whatever. Uh, even though I'm going to name it, so fuck off. But either way, so I asked them, you know, when did you get into the rap game and when did you first put pen to paper, etc., etc.? So, goes as stated from Mr. Fisticuffs. I started as a rhythm guitar player in a hardcore band named Project Ghetto Creep in the late 90s. We did one show and broke up. It was a super fresh fucking show though. Big crowd, lots of little hotties running around. But let me say this. This is a little fucking message, advice, or whatever from motherfucking Fisticuffs, so pay attention. If you're a young homie peeping out this shit, then take my advice. Get in a fucking band ASAP. Young bitches love dudes in fucking bands. I don't know what's wrong with them. But their brains see band and they're like instant dickhounds. I was a horrible guitar player, but it didn't matter. I had more chicks hidden hidden up hitting me up than I knew what to do with back then. Anyways, I did a show, jumped off stage, and beat some kid up that was yelling shit at me while I was playing and got arrested. Between that and my shitty guitar playing, I guess the rest of the band was like, fuck this dude. And we broke up. It was all good, though. I still loved music and probably had more hotties after all that shit. But I knew I sucked at band shit, so I tried rap. I had this old Hocus Pocus import CD that had the instrumental for the song on it. And I used to chill in my bedroom and try to rap to it all the time. Me and my homies, well, me and my homie, Mr. Sickness, got together one day and decided we would have fun with the whole rap thing. I mean, he was fat and I was skinny. It worked for ICP. So why the fuck not us, right? And this was in 2000. We did lots of dumb shit though. And nothing was never really serious. Then in 2001 I went to jail for a little bit after some bullshit involving a fight. With these out of town lanes. I had a run in with. And that's when my rap career started really. I wrote my first rhyme that would actually get recorded in that jail. The song was Day to Day from Project Ghetto. Uh, and the album was called 106 Blood Moons back in 2002. When I got out, me and Sick found this homies called Mini Mac that made beats and had a little recording set up in his room. We started putting tracks together and ended up putting a debut album out in 2002. Project Ghetto Creep was back. Only this time, it was a fucking rap group. I still sucked. Though, to be honest, shaking my head. I go back to listen to that shit sometimes and wow. We had so much. We was just some kids trying to live our dream. With zero idea of how to get to it. I gotta say though. For it's time. And what it was. That shit was kind of hard. We got well known and underground fast. After that. So. There you go. That one was shorter reading. Uh, I guess. But. That's a lot of fucking writing. So I cheated, I took a picture of it on my phone that's not active, an old one I don't really use that much. I'll use it for certain videos because I got a different editor on it or whatever, but besides that, I don't really fuck with it. Uh, but I use it when need be, like when the light shines on me, that comes from this phone right here. It's this fucking old piece of shit that don't really work. Besides, I can get on YouTube, watch videos, you know, that type of shit, just because of Wi-Fi, but there's no service on it. But, uh, 
So yeah, I just took fucking a picture of the uh, text he sent me on Facebook. And uh, I went from there. I was like, fuck that shit. Uh, that's a lot of fucking writing. And uh, yeah, it, that was a pretty interesting little tidbit of how he started. He was a rocker at first, which wasn't that long, apparently. And uh, he got into a fight, beat some kid up, and his one and only show as a guitar player. And uh, after that, he said, fuck it. You know, he, he recognized that he had no fucking delusions, you know. He was like, well, shit, I'm not really a good uh, guitar player. I'm not really that type of cat. So, shit, let me try rapping. And... I have to say he found his niche and that that would be it for this section of fucking fisticuffs the dope ass rapper uh part two I'm gonna try I might drop part three tonight I don't know uh but it is coming but we get into more, and I think around part four, I think I'm going to put it, is really fucking a dope-ass story, so I would check it out. It's pretty interesting, but if not, I guess whatever, but that's it. Much clown love. Thanks for watching, and whoop, whoop, motherfuckers. Around the throat, I can squeeze each show and feel like it's been revoked. I can't.